Hi Libras, welcome to my channel, Battle Moon Child Tarot. I'm Becky and I am sorry my hair is crazy. Nah. Um <laughs> and I am here to do your general love reading or general reading for the second half of March 2019. Alright, so let's check this out. Libra, first card out, three of pentacles. Then we have six of swords. Followed by Three of Wands. Okay. Three, six, three. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles under the Three of Pentacles. Then we have the Ten of Cups underneath the Six of Swords. And then Le Piste de Resistance. King of Wands underneath the Three of Wands. All right, Libra. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But right now, it could be anybody. Bottom of the deck in the overall energy, Knight of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. All right, this could be a message coming in, a soulful connection, more deeper kind of connection. All right, this could also be uh, an apology coming in of some sort. It could be good news coming in. Um, let's see. Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Wands. So it's like for some of you guys, you guys got a new job opportunity. Job opportunity opportunity jesus christ can't talk today mercury retrograde opportunity new offer new opportunity opportunity <laughs> anyways you guys got a new opportunity you get some kind of news right and it could be that like you decided you chose um you made a choice in where you want to go where you want to build your foundation where you want to start new start all over or start you know something new and awesome okay um and it requires you to walk away so that's what i'm saying it could be a job you probably gave in your um your notice or you're getting a new opportunity you know you've got you've passed the um interview process you got an offer now you're just waiting waiting for that time to transition over Okay, so it's like right now you're just feeling confident, more er, more grounded, more focused on, you know, your harvest, what you've worked hard for. And this like brings happiness in, okay? Because now it's like you have this desire, you have this passion, you're taking action. All right, and this could be this fire sign too. Or you, okay? So it's like you're focused on this happiness. Whoever this is, this Nine of Pentacles is, they're focused on this happiness. Look at that, how she looks, all right? But then look at this King of Wands here, too. He's focused on the happiness and her, okay? So, Libra, you could have somebody that has the hots for you, that really wants to be with you. <laughs> that you two are happy with each other. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of stability even. Um, very good. All right. And this message could be coming in like text message is what I'm getting. Or some type of a flirtatious message. Okay. Let's see if I see anything on the mundane level. Mundane. Uh, if you are in a third party situation, somebody does leave and becomes single and becomes happy. This person is waiting. Or the other person is waiting. Somebody's waiting. Somebody that you have a passion for. Um, this all could culminate in either Aries season or Leo season. Really depends on your chart. So let's move on, move forward. I haven't even, jeez. Okay. Can we? 
Can we talk for a minute? Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. What's going on? Okay. Screw it. Um Yeah, no, I can't screw this. Hold on, guys. Sorry, timestamp it. I don't care. I need technology. Tonta. Jeez. Libra, I really appreciate your parent patience. Seven of Cups. Okay, so there could have been a lots of options, lots of opportunities that came your way. Now, what I mean by options and opportunities, there could have been some type of confusion as to where to go, where to start this foundation, where to even build this foundation, okay? Because you're wanting, like, if this is a job situation, then you're wanting something that has that give and take. You're want if this is a relation, you're wanting that something that has that equal give and take. All right, we go from three of pentacles to nine of pentacles six of pentacles mini justice card your card okay so seven of cups there could have been some kind of confusions or there were so many different ways this could have panned out played out okay different routes routine different ways to handle it okay so six of swords ten of cups six of wands clarifying so going towards victory and success after leaving a situation leaving what no longer serves you leaving that ego leaving that pride leaving that narcissist leaving things that just does not win if you can't find balance in it then walk away all right it's like learning to choose your battles six of wands being victorious being successful learning you know you were the survivor uh so this is like also being recognized being popular um okay so let's see so double the effort excuse me man Oh, my stomach's been killing me. Um, it's like, what I'm seeing is, it's like a long time waiting for this opportunity, for this moment, for this recognition. Okay, because we have three of wands to the six of wands, which means double the effort. Alright, so the... <clears throat> Hierophant is clarifying three of wands, king of wands. So somebody could be waiting for a marriage. Somebody could be waiting for a commitment, a relationship, um, something very traditional. They could be wa waiting for word from some type of organization or agency or company. All right. Um, this could also be waiting for your spirit guides, your your internal higher self to come and you feel that connection, okay? Bottom of the deck and the overall energy, the tower. So this is my wake up, break up, shake up. This is my communication comes in, a faulty foundation comes down so that something new can come out, right? Bring something new, all right? And it is a. It could be also a wake up because it's clarifying the the Knight of Cups. Okay, so Knight of Cups being that spiritual journey. All right. So on a mundane level, if you have a child, Libra, a water sign child, or possibly an emotional child, um, they're going to have some waterworks. Um. It could be in regards to a friend situation, their friend, 
This is just reading for the child. Um, <sighs> the, if this is affecting a child, then this is like, what are my options to help this child out to get the success that they need? You're going to find that person, uh, somebody, it's like you're going to see them on TV or something. You're going to hear an advertisement or something, and this is the person that you're supposed to get in contact with. All right, and this is something that was spiritually guided. This was something that, um, again, this could be some type of lawyer or something like that, um, even a doctor, okay? And that's what I'm seeing on a mundane level or seeing outside of the relationship reading. All right, lovies. So here we go. First card says, don't stop. Don't stop moving forward. Like I said, like the bottom three cards, Knight of Pentacles, being very confident, being independent. You got your, your you know, you, your harvest time has came. It's ripe it's ready for the picking it's abundancy right springtime springtime is where things bloom things grow okay so this you know and then we have the ten of cups happiness where things grow and then bringing spirit bringing life okay Uh, to do so don't stop appreciating don't stop moving forward don't stop <clears throat> setting up those boundaries walking away from things that no longer serve you or keeping quiet when you just know that it would be a lose-lose second card says uh, listen it to your intuition so your intuitions are uh, is trying to tell you something like I said uh, spiritual awakening right with the uh, knight of cups and the the tower and the king of wands so it's like communication you're waiting for divine communication to come in now what happened was it needed it was being blocked for during Aquarius season because of the chaos and the destruction that needed to happen um, in Aquar um, Pisces season as we enter into every season for western astrology then it's like you know the water connects us into our emotions which connects us you know heart center right um now for people that follow eastern you know it is that um we are entering Pisces season, so yeah, we're actually going to be more in tune and in touch with our spiritual side, our intuition, so needing to just listen. Listen, Linda, and the last card says, remain positive. All right? Remember, you adding your little one coin to that side of the scale, it either balances it or it helps it. All right, choice is yours. Within the next few weeks, you're going to see something happen within the next few weeks. Spiritual awakenings happening. Um, have, like Feeling just a lot of joy and contentment. Feeling a lot lighter energy is what I'm getting, okay? That is what I have for you, Libras. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for checking out my reading. I appreciate everybody tuning in. And um, for my returning viewers, welcome back for my new ones. Hello and thank you so much. All right, hope this message resonated. If it did, hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And if it did not, check back towards the end of the month. End of the month? Yep, end of the month. <laughs> Check my towards the end of the month, and if it doesn't resonate still, and you'd like a personal reading, check out that description box below, okay? See you guys in two weeks. Namaste.